Tom Oluga is the Secretary General of KMPD, is among those who don't, this doesn't sound very good to. Um, you're saying this is unnecessary. Why? Uh, 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 thank you very much, Hussein. I, first, it's a very beautiful story. Indeed, uh, Cuba's system is, is, is quite commendable worldwide. But um, as with every beautiful story in Kenya, there is always a scam. And I think Hussein, uh, uh, even just looking at today's bulletin, before this beautiful story of Cuba, there were quite a number <laughs> of scams. Mm -hmm. So I want to be very surprised if in the very near future you will be reading this in the news here as a scam. Why would you say um, that? But um, uh, for us, um, uh, to make it very clear, first, um, we are not opposed to the doctors. Yeah. Just uh, before that, I mean, you're, say, you're saying it's yeah. a scam. I don't know yeah. what you're saying. No, I'm there saying that, a scam in this. of course. Why? Why? Because what do you mean by that? Um, and, uh, you're looking at the, the way that um, the system is talking about it, the people who have just talked. They're talking about it very beautifully, but they are referring to the system. But then they are bringing the doctors, not the system. But perhaps they believe that the doctors could change the system. Then that means that they should also believe here that the doctors here can change the system. And I think uh, for me, it, it, it's perhaps better to talk about the healthcare system than even these Cuban uh, doctors. Mm -hmm. And uh, right now that the president has declared universal health healthcare, coverage, yeah. we were the first ones to say we are throwing our weight behind it and we support it fully, and we still do. It, but today I want to add a statement. We are the only ones in this bandwagon supporting a universal health care system that's going to deliver quality to every Kenyan without any hidden interest. Everyone else, everyone else in this circle's pushing agenda have hidden interest. And some of them are just hiring us in, 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 the, in, in chip scheme. What okay, I'm trying again, to say, yeah, okay. and, and um, uh, let's look at even um, the issue of um, just before this Cuban system uh, uh, came about. The malaria control program already declared that they have set aside 500 million shillings for mm -hmm. 10 Cuban doctors just to go and uh, do some bush clearing and stagnant water and spraying and vector, what they're calling vector control. I don't think that there's any program in the world that is better than Kemri and Kilifi in malaria control. I don't think, and, and even in terms of publications, and this can be proven, this, this is, there's evidence to it. Okay. And, and so, so, so if you're looking at the, the Cuban system, uh, let me just uh, make a few things yes. why for us we were opposed to it, and not opposed to it because we don't like the Cubans. In fact, we will welcome them because they're our colleagues once so they there, come there here. There are fears that you're not going to welcome no, them no, no, very no, much no, as no, Kenyan no. Of course, the doctors but, respect each other all over the world, by mm -hmm, the way, mm -hmm. and there's no amount of government shenanigans anywhere that will make doctors not respect each other all over the world. You're talking about good so, intentions. You don't think yes. there are good intentions with what is happening? Ex we're talking about processes and procedures. You have said yes. most of this, the intentions are ill. The intentions are ill. Well, why, why are the intentions uh, ill? And of course, they have talked one, about primary health care yes. for, 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 yeah. for Kenyans. That is a commendable thing, isn't yes. it? 47, of 47 of these doctors are going to be family doctors. And let me, let me talk to you about that. Mm -hmm. So um, there's an association of family physicians all over the world called Wonka. So Wonka does not recognize the Cuban family medicine program and curriculum. It works for Cuba, but it works for Cuba because Cuba has a number of specialists. All the other specialties in, in Cuba are recognized all over the world, except the family medicine curriculum, because it lacks in some aspects. Number two, the family medicine program is here in Kenya. It's taught in five universities. Moi University, Maseno, Kabarak, Aga Khan University and Kenyatta University. And they train here at Kijabe, Webuye Hospital, in the rurals. Secondly, for family medicine to be practical, mm -hmm. there has to be at least two family medicine doctors in every county. They're just bringing one. Okay? Do we have them now? We have them now. Specialists. We have family specialists, family, family doctors yes. who are specialists. I have come with one. He's waiting for me here in the lodge room. From 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 yes. the government. So, and, so, so, and, and that, and it, was, it was it was very surprising also yes. when I saw one of the tweets from the cabinet secretary mm -hmm. that they were talking to the WHO director that they are developing a curriculum. We have the curriculum. We Moi University has been doing this for long. Kenyatta University has been doing it. The Aga Khan University has been doing it. Kabarak University okay. has been doing it. So I mean. 
you get what I'm saying that there has to be How ill concerned. intentions. The cabinet secretary is yeah. concerned and the government is that most of these specialist doctors are only concentrated in urban areas. No, they are that's not going not true. to deal uh, with patients that, that is and not the people true. at the family so the, level in the rural so setting. Are you going to deny that? I, I'm going to deny that because, and let me also say it like this Kenyan doctors are ready to work everywhere. First and foremost, mm -hmm. Kenyan doctors are not alien. We as sons, and daughters of this country. We come from a place. And the fact that we come from a place cannot make us reject our own places where we come from. And I think that there is a narrative that has been propagated mm -hmm. for so long that uh, Kenyan doctors are not willing to work. I can tell you for sure, Dadab, which is far flung, has more doctors than Garissa County. The question we should ask ourselves is why does Dadab have more doctors than Garissa County. Why does working under government or under NGOs? Under NGOs, that's the question. So what are these so conditions? So these are doctors going to work under government. Th that is the point. But you see also these doctors, the, the Cuban doctors that are coming and where they are going to. Mm -hmm. You see what they are being given: security, free housing, free water, free gas. You know, everything. The same things that we, the Kenyan doctors, have been asking for. But, but we are not. But hasn't been coming. But has not been coming. Okay. So the, the Kenyan doctors get killed. But then the Cuban doctor, you know, it's as if the government treats Kenyan doctors as if they are bulletproof, like, 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 you know. So, so, so this mean, is, these are the same things that we are talking about. In fact, we want this Cuban system. And this is the things that we are talking about. It's a purely public system, by the way. Mm -hmm. They put 27% of their national budget in healthcare. Here, what do we do? 2.8%. And the 2.8%, we steal 30% of it. Okay. Okay. And then we want the same system. So, so you know, for, there's, for, there's a disconnect between these people who have just been giving a very beautiful story mm. and what they practice on a daily basis. Okay. From, uh, from uh, what uh, you're saying, it's, yeah. it's, I mean, it's almost you admitting because of the problems that have been here and because uh, the government, as you say, has not been listening to your concerns, then we don't necessarily have the specialists working in rural areas, the family we, setting. We, we do. We do have family medicine specialists uh, in, in the rural areas. Because that is, that is their concern. Uh, for, example, for example, in some hospitals, there are cases in Homa Bay, Isiolo and Meru, where equipment, the li medical listing equipment, some of them have not even been operated on. Because but that is we don't true, have but, specialists. But you just listened to your own story, you said. You listened to the citizen story, talking about what the family medicine there do. So if that is the caliber of doctor that they are bringing. Do you think that doctor is going to do dialysis? You've, you've, list, you've, you've, you, you've done the story yourself. The, 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 the doctor there is connected to a family and is doing more pre prevention. Some so, of them. Of course, yeah. of course, yes. So how, how, is that, how is that related to the equipment that you're talking about? I mean, the point is, what they are saying is, in some of these areas, the specialists are not going in some of these rural areas. The specialist, but the specialist, their concern is the specialists are only cons uh, uh, no, no, concentrated the, in the, the, in the, the in specialists the are everywhere. Let, let me give you an example. So there's an orthopedic surgeon that applied mm -hmm. to go to Homa Bay, and Homa Bay rejected him. Homa Bay is now taking a Cuban orthopedic surgeon. In Kisumu, I've, I'm told they are taking a neurosurgeon. In 2015, mm -hmm. my own mm -hmm. good friend mm -hmm. is a neurosurgeon in the U.S., and he applied to come here. And the same county rejected him. So I can tell you for sure, mm. a beautiful story can always be done. But behind a beautiful story is a scam. And Kenyans will prove me right. So you still think what the government is doing is not right? It's nonsense. There's nothing you can learn from these no, no. doctors? Of course, there's a lot to learn mm. cross border. And I can tell you for sure that we are against the process and the procedure. If there were vacancies, mm. advertise those vacancies. If people don't apply, then say that the, the vacancy is here. Now we can bring doctors from elsewhere. That is actually what is in the Immigration Act. That is what is in the Public Service uh, uh, Act. You know, those procedures have not been followed. Secondly, mm. Cuba employs all their graduate doctors. Here we have uh, 1683 doctors. I mean, 1683 doctors who are out there. Doctors are lacking in the counties. And then we are not employing our own, but 
yet we want that system. So you can see there's a very big disconnect, disconnect between, between what, what we are saying. Of course, what is happening in Cuba and what uh, is happening here yeah, is not, yeah. not the so, same. So and, and, the, and the budget, first of all, the budget that's going to be used on these 100 doctors is enough to absorb 1,000 doctors. You have said doctors. it's 2 billion. Yes. The government has that's, refuted that. that they have not that, given that, a figure. They have not given a figure. But right. that's our estimation because the figure, they actually have actually given a figure. Mm -hmm. They have said how much they're going to, to pay. To pay. Right. Then they have given budgets, like Busi already gave a budget of what they'll do to in terms of a Accommodation. In El Gale Market, we know even the governor's house and the, some of this deputy governor's house is going to be used to... to so you can estimate the cost. To accommodate them. Yeah, you can estimate the cost. So it's not, it's not rocket science to, uh, to, to estimate the cost. Okay, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll look at the, yeah. at the feedback very yes. quickly. Yeah. Uh, this is what you're saying on Twitter uh, so far. We have uh, the magician saying Kenyan doctors have skills, knowledge and expertise to offer medical services. The government should consider improving their salaries and working conditions. Outsourcing will not end strikes in Kenya. Uh, Emmanuel, I hope we'll import the Cuban doctors with their equipment. Most of our government hospital equipment are pathetic with no drugs. Otherwise, we'll end up with a new scam. That is actually what Oluga is saying. Uh, Gadesha says, we need these doctors like last year. Okay, this somebody thinks differently. Patients wait for four hours in hospitals. We don't have capacity to deliver universal health care as at now. Benjamin Wanyoni, I think. We already have qualified doctors. What we need is a Cuban system that will boost our health care. And Godi Barazawera, it would have been cheaper if we sent our doctors to Cuba for orientative trainings, then have them back with the same knowledge. Bringing human doctors is doctors over is too costly. And uh, Kenya Sam, the main concern about Kenyan doctor is hoping from hospital to another, then to a clinic. That's little attention to a patient. Again, people talking about that, and 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 doctors thinking only about yeah. themselves. I mean, you've heard that. Yeah. And there are two sides to this. You can see it. So the those who are supporting, those who think it's important, yeah. and those who oh, are arguing course, like you. Of course. And finally, as, and as you wind up, finally, there's no positive you can draw from this. There is, is a there, a step. There is, a lot, to, there, to, to, there, there is a lot of positives in the Cuban system. A lot of positives. And I, and I, and I, 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 I honestly hope that we will draw the positives, the, the budget they put into the healthcare system. I mentioned 27%. Percent, right. The fact that their healthcare is completely free. People mm. walk in and out. Here, we have to do our ambas and then our people still go out of the country. The fact that their healthcare system generates 11% of their GDP. And I mentioned this before, even the unemployment crisis that we are having in the country, starting with the doctors themselves mm. and with the youth, the healthcare system can actually absorb people. They can, it can create jobs. In the US, the healthcare system is the number one employer mm. beyond industries. Right. So all these youth that we have, we create skills for them in the cottage industry to make equipment for theater and all of We can generate a lot of jobs. I hope those are things we can learn. But if we are just um, uh, trying to do some ridicule or like just bringing people for the sake of bringing people then i think we're not going to learn anything and and i'll say this again mm. the kenyan doctors are fully behind the uhc agenda with absolutely no interest rather than to give quality health care to kenyans okay dr omo look at of course i mean it's important, it's important to point out that of course Cuban, Cuba employs all their doctors. Yes. And it also pays for the education exactly. all through. So yeah. it's different. And, and we are also not, uh, uh, just, just, just one thing, we are not correcting the system because if we are bringing these 100 doctors, but then we are also not training. So that means after two years, we will still not have the specialists. They think they will have trained some of you or you have learned from some they of are, them. They are going to hospitals that are not teaching hospitals. So they are not like coming to the universities where, they, it's, it's true, I right. mean, they are, they are going to Homa Bay. There is no doctor that is training to be a specialist in Homa Bay and in, in Meru. Oh, oh, saying, oh, there's oh, so Luga. much to talk about <laughs> so yeah. I will talk about really? it I mean, in the coming days. Yeah. Dr. And, and I think Luga Kenyans that, yes. just need to dissect things on their own. They should not be drawn into our arguments. Right. They should just think soberly. Dr. Omo Oluga yeah. is the Secretary General uh, at <laughs> KMPDU. Good and bad, that's what you're saying. There yeah, are some but, positive but support. When, yeah, but, but when they come, we will welcome them. <laughs> and they come tomorrow, so it'll of be course, interesting they are, to see. They are, they are going to Kenya School of Government first right. to, to be trained there. So and you'll yeah, be we there? Wish, we wish, no, 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 I won't be there. You won't be there? Uh, you don't I'm, want to I'm, come? I'm going to Geneva for the ILO <laughs> conference to tell the world that Kenya is doing some stupid things. Whoa. Yeah. You're saying stupid. 
I mean, this is stupid. Actually, it's against the the the, the WHO code of uh, uh, ethics for, for what Why we call. Why would you say stupid? Yes, you've just said right now, Doctor Molu, that there are some positives to draw from this. Why would you say it's stupid? No, but I mean, it's you know what I'm saying. We will welcome them as colleagues. Not about welcoming but, them. You yeah. said you said yeah. there are some positives to draw of from course, this. Of course, they're not necessarily coming from the system. They're not necessarily coming to change the healthcare system. It is just something the government is trying to do, especially the family level healthcare, and. Trying, I mean, you're saying there's a lot to learn from what they will come with, isn't it? Why would you call Perhaps. it stupid? Why are you saying it's stupid? Well, Hussein, I've just been explaining this. You know, we train family, we train family medicine here. Why would you go out there to tell the world, oh, we don't have this? We train them here. Okay, I'll anyway. <laughs> we'll have to leave it at that, but we'll call you again <laughs> in the future. Uh, those are your words, uh, Dr. Oumar Oluga, KMPDU. I won't say now good and bad. It's clearly very bad from him that he can use such words. Keep talking to us, Texas 2422. The doctors come tomorrow on Twitter is the hashtag Sunday Live. We'll be back after this break.